What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Now, in today's video, yes. Okay, first of all, oh my god. Like, the mirror queen, I'm tooting my own horn. Toot toot! Bitch! Okay, hi, how are ya? Okay, guys, so today we're unveiling a new collection for Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It is time for a little homage to the... OG Beauty Killer Palette. Now this palette, she's done. She's gone forever. She's retired. This was actually the first palette I ever put out years ago when Jeffree Star Cosmetics was just a little baby. Now this palette was iconic. And if you don't know the history, Beauty Killer has a long legacy in the Jeffree Star world. If you did not know, I used to do music. Yes, imagine me on stage in a tour bus, traveling all around the world, singing my heart out about some weird ass shit. <laughs> and Beauty Killer was an album of mine. It's of course uh, the album that has Nicki Minaj on a feature and that came out in 2009. Oh my god, I was a little baby. So when I started the brand, I felt like the album never really got its really fair shot. So I created this palette, it did phenomenal, and I caused a little bit of a stir when this dropped. And I mean that in a good way. Because, and yes, this is one of my used palettes. Oh, my tried and true. The best transition shade for eyeshadow, Miss Courtney right there. So the pans, hello, they're massive. I didn't want to be like other brands where the pan sizes were so tiny. It's like, okay, use it quick and make them buy more. I was like, no, like, Go big or go home. And we all know I'm a size queen. So, Beauty Killer's done. Oh my God. Rest in peace. We love you, girl. So it was time for a new moment. And this is just a really fun, small collection that I wanted to do to give an homage, have fun, and really just play with color again. Because hello, we all know we just launched Jeffree Star Skin like three weeks ago. Oh my God. I can't believe it's finally out. So I wanted the skincare to breathe and have its own moment. But now... We're unveiling a new baby. So we have a few accessories. We have an eyeshadow palette with all brand new shades. And we have a Skin Frost highlighter palette. And I have not put out one of those in a while. I miss my OG Skin Frost formula. I mean, hello, we all know this is a shade in the palette. We all know that Beauty Killer 1 was an icon, but Beauty Killer 2, she's really that girl. So we're gonna play with everything today. We're gonna swatch everything and hello, Let's get started. All right, Miss Girl! I'm so excited because I haven't put out an eyeshadow palette in a while. Last year we went ham, right? There were so many launches from Pink Religion to Pricked to Weirdo. I mean, listen, we've had a lot of iconic moments, but Miss Beauty Killer 2, girl, she's sickening. So we're gonna unbox her right now. Now, of course, just like Beauty Killer 1, <laughs> the original, there's 10 shades in here. And the packaging, I just wanna say that we had to do a little upgrade. This was my very first palette. Baby budgets were different back then. So I said, okay, for the next round, we need to like do a little upgrade. So this is the new Unicarton. She looks absolutely stunning. Hello, Artistry Palette. How you doing? Listen, the ad campaign was so fun for this. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. But here she is. Now it looks very high fashion. Now, woo! there she is. Now, if you notice the difference in sizing, Beauty Killer 2 is a lot thicker. It is a little more luxurious feeling and it has uh, just a thicker wall to it where this one was a little more thin, but this one isn't obnoxious. So if you want to travel with it still, baby, it's ready to roll. <sighs> do, we, do we open it? We have to open it. Okay, let's get right into it and introducing Beauty Killer 2. <laughs> Woo! Oh my God. Baby, what is the first impression? Now, a lot of people sometimes don't know, this is a mirror. Your mirror is not scratched and dirty, bitch. Oh, the peel porn. Baby, here she is. Oh my God. Now you guys know I had to, of course, keep the big pans. We, I, we've seen my squares in all different shapes and sizes, but we brought the OG pan size back. And bitch, it's big. There's a lot of product in there. What do we think of the color story? Obviously, I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I'm gonna swatch it all, but hi, eyelids. Oh. All right, so let me get to swatching. BAM! All right, you guys, here are five out of the 10 shades. Oh my God, where do we start? Obviously, we're going here. So, Guillotine Dream, oh my God. I, as I swatched this, I sat here and I'm like, how do I even describe this color? It's like alien turquoise with a gold crazy shift to it and it is just absolutely beautiful. Now, the next shade is called Blob Doll and it is amazing, not just for eyeshadow, because clearly we see it up here, but for blush, oh my God. It's literally gonna be your new favorite blush. Does Jeffree Star Cosmetics also need to come out with blushes one day? Because I kind of think we do. Blob Doll is here. Now this one, girl, it's 
so beautiful. It's a full black eyeshadow but with glitter that is actually pigmented and shows up on the lid and she's called Soul Sucker. All right, now this one, yes baby, she's very bold, she's very loud, and she's called Self Expression. Now, I love a good, like, I call this like an acid chartreuse color. Obviously, it's right there. She is absolutely beautiful. It's just vibrant and very in your face, like this whole entire brand. <laughs> All right, now the last shade on the row is a really dark navy teal, and that is Cold Redemption. It's really beautiful and it's really dark and rich with color. So here are five shades out of the 10. Let's swatch the other row. Oh, hi. Okay, here is the second row. I don't know what color is my favorite. I wanted to get really weird with this palette. So when you're looking at all the shades, it's like, hi, how are ya? <laughs> so let's start from left to right. Right here we have respect. Hello, one of my favorite words, respect. It is a very just pretty, really, really light, 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 light nude. I love putting it under the brow bone and, or just all over. I'm throwing a fucking lash on this girl. Now, the next shade, Under Oath. Yes, Your Honor. So this shade is called Under Oath. It is very, it, it's, it's a warm terracotta, just different type of brown. And it's just absolutely just sickening. All right, now this, this, this one right here, she's called Indica Bling. And it is such a stunning ultraviolet purple periwinkle moment. And she's a full metallic and it's probably one of my favorite shades oh now this one this shade is called rebirth and it is a like forest hunter green with some really cool gold glitter in there and oh I love it now the last shade is called death row it is an eggplant purple it's almost like Scorpio liquid lip but more purple injected into it and it's just really amazing you guys that is all ten shades swatched here is miss beauty killer 2 oh my god so of course there's 10 shades, and of course, just like Beauty Killer, the original, this is $45 retail, so we're not changing the price because the packaging has been upgraded. You know this brand is not doing that. I wanna take you guys on a quick one second journey because the photo shoots for this and the ad campaigns are absolutely amazing. Hi, I wanted to have a really fun fantasy, so I said, let's do a meat locker. Me and all the models had the best time on set, everyone really killed it and made my vision come to life. Um, Nicole even put a two on my face, like the two on the unit carton, which is crazy. Um, and the sets were unreal. So as you guys are having a little flashback with me right now, they really brought it there. And then the red room, oh my god, the red clear meat cleaver, the outfits, the jewelry, but anyway you guys. Cleaning off my swatches because there's more. We have a Skin Frost palette and it's called Baby. Oh my God, I love the packaging. It is called Ice Crusher. Yes! This is, oh, it's so stunning. Definitely inspired by all my travels around the world, seeing some of the iciest, coldest countries and the shades are phenomenal. So, let's open it up. All right, so the inside, she looks like this. I want to have a lot of fun with this packaging. So this is literally a sea of ice cubes. It's a wall of melting ice. And obviously you guys see the holographic moments. It's very Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I wanted to have fun with this one, get a little weird. Obviously this is a very weird moment here. And let's open her up. So here is Miss Ice Crusher. <laughs> Woo, yes. Oh my god. Now these shades, they're blinding, they're so sparkly, and they are just, ugh, they're drop dead gorgeous. Now for this photo shoot, you guys, oh my god, I wanted to really create a fantasy. So the people that did the ice sculptures for the Super Bowl for the Rams, oh baby, they came on set. <laughs> A few days later and we shot this and they did a full-on Jeffree Star Cosmetics logo in ice you guys look at the I'm not, we're throwing up some footage right now and it was just wild yes it was obviously real and it didn't melt it stayed there for hours and there, there was an ice handler <laughs> That should have been a shade name. There was an ice handler on set to make sure nothing happened to it, and it was just so cool. And then I also wanted to have fun, like, you know, when you're fishing, you're ice fishing. I know some of you are like, Jeffrey, what? Yes. And you see the hole in the ice in the lake. I wanted to have a moment of, like, popping out of there, like, oh, hi, how are you? We had two girls on set killed it and they gave us the fantasy that there was, like, real frostbite and ice on our faces, and it was just so fucking cool. So, without further ado, let's swatch her. Oh, they're blinding! If you've never tried my Skin Frost formula, oh. <laughs> 
it's really, really good. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And it just goes on the skin like, ah. Uh. And I know that ultra highlighting may not be always in and in. It's a Jeffrey Alien moment. And I know that you guys love this formula. So let's go down the let's go down the whole moment. Hello. Now these shade names are fun. So this first one was named after one of my massive white yak bowls. Yes, his name is Avalanche. So this shade is Miss Avalanche. Look at the way they reflect. Next one is called Snow Job, and it is a weird gold with green shift to it. It is just a whole nother level. Now these are really high shine pearl metallic formula and they're nuts. So the next one is called Ice Pick Headache. And it is a more champagne rose gold with a really bright diamond shine. Now the next one, let's get a little more weird, is called Pluto, named after my favorite planet. Um, and I love Pluto, it's so icy and cold, like my heart. <laughs> All right, the next shade is called Plow Me. It is just a gorgeous bronze, and I also use this for eyeshadow sometimes, but it is so good on medium or dark complexions. It is my favorite. Now this purple one, oh my god. This on medium to dark complexions is probably my even more favorite than the bronze because it just looks absolutely just like uh, jaw dropping. Um, and this shade is called Asphyxia Frost. So there's six shades. We all know that the Skin Frost palettes retail for only $40 and the pans, they're massive too. This is one I just swatched. The pans are massive, Miss Goddess. I am just obsessed with this. I really want to take Snow Job and do just a little bit more right fucking there, bitch. Oh, oh my god. Maybe just a little, just a little right here. Oh God, these shades are so pretty, you guys. And if you're not into the wet look, I totally get it. I also have like 50 other highlighter formulas. I love a nose highlight, bitch. I'm just so giddy right now. So this is the Ice Crusher Skin Frost Pro Palette. Now you guys, this collection is very contained. I wanted to keep it simple and just have the makeup speak for itself. So we have this beautiful eyeshadow palette, a beautiful highlighting palette, but we needed a few accessories. You guys know I'm the Mirror Queen. You saw the intro. <sighs> okay, you guys, yes, I think I did the damn thing. Hi. <laughs> this is, yes, a meat cleaver mirror. It's really lightweight, but it's sturdy. Like, it feels real, it feels great. Obviously, I have to get this out of the way. There is no sharpness to the blade. There is no blade. This is a fun makeup mirror. It just looks very realistic. And obviously, hi, here's the mirror. <laughs> now, I wanted to do pink because, hello, pink is our entire aesthetic, but we also wanted to do a really amazing one. Oh, by the way, hi, here's the packaging. We wanted to do a, like, kitchen, just steel gray black one. So, we have new packaging, like the Jeffree Star Pets mirror, and now we have new mirrors. So the black and the pink mirrors, of course, will be retailing for $30. And oh my god, I think it might be my favorite mirror I have ever made. Like, I've done a lot of, I'm looking at my desk, I've done a lot of cool shapes. I mean, hello, the stained glass one, though, we did that. But the meat cleavers, they're just iconic. So besides the mirrors, there's one other thing. And I think you guys have been staring at it the entire video. It is the meat cleaver necklace. Now let me show you what it comes in. Hi, it comes in this cute, adorable little jewelry box with the um, knife from the palette on there. And bam, it's just, it's in there. And now it's on my body. And this is only $25, you guys. It's really cute. I love it. And just a little homage to the old school beauty killer days. So, should we do a recap? Beauty killer palette, ice crusher, skin frost palette, two mirrors, and this beautiful little necklace, that's it. On the page though, you guys, on launch day, which we haven't even talked about launch day. Hello, so everything that you've seen in today's video, it launches on March 25th at 10 a.m. Pacific Center time. That is 11 a.m. Mountain time for all my Wyomingites, and of course, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everything will be live, and also when the page is up, I'm gonna throw up some of my very old school liquid lips that we first launched with Beauty Killer. Oh my God, hello, flashback. That's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching this reveal. I can't believe the year is already about to be spring, like 2022 is moving fast. So besides this, there is a lot more coming, but March 25th. I'll see you guys on jeffreystarcosmetics.com. And of course, as always, let me know what you're feeling about the Beauty Killer 2 collection. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.